And then so here we have the terrain. Uh, so this is the ebony twilight black, uh, essentially. Um, so as I mentioned, the one was sold. This one does have the lighter interior. Uh, options wise, it's gonna be very similar to the Acadia that we just went over. So park assist sensors front and rear, that overhead 360 camera, LED lights all the way around, uh, your blind spot monitoring in the mirrors there, um, forward collision alert, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control. Uh, the one thing it will be missing is that rear camera mirror, which they do not offer on the terrain there. Um, so here's your, your cargo space here. So it's got a nice storage area underneath the floor there in the back. And then as well, you can drop the seats from back here as well. So it gives you a nice, nice long loading uh, area for luggage and road trips, that sort of thing. The other nice thing about these terrains is this front seat actually goes down as well. Uh, so just right here. that there and then that gives you if you ever do have to haul longer materials uh, the ability to go all the way right up to the dashboard with them there so again the passive entry on all four doors there apologize for my camera work there Having a look in the back seat here. So again, uh, they don't have their own climate controls, but these seats are heated in the back and then a couple USB ports and then a plug-in down here as well uh, for laptops and that sort of thing. This one has the panoramic sunroof. driver's seat so again a lot of similar features that the uh, um, Acadia had there so you got your memory seats for your uh, seating position there got your all-wheel drive controls over here with your lane keep assist heated and cooled seats in the front um, you can disconnect the all-wheel drive same as on the Acadia and run it as a true front wheel drive wireless charge pad is down in here rather than up over here and then you got a couple USB ports there same kind of shifting design. Got your dual climate controls. Built-in navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto again. Uh, and then again, a lot of those same camera views for the 360 front and rear side views that we've seen on the Acadia there. Heated steering wheel, forward collision alert with the adaptive cruise control. And then uh, your display and behind the steering wheel there that's gonna show you any of your vehicle information that you're wanting. Uh, sunglass holder and then your integrated garage door openers up there as well this one also has the actual the uh, park assist feature so it will actually park itself either parallel or uh, perpendicular so it can do either or there but uh, that's the terrain there I'll do a video on the enclave for you there